Diba Oil, who are fighting to play the GFA First Division League for the first time in their history, played a thrilling and dramatic playoff at the Independence Stadium. That saw both teams scoring at the very end of the game, resulting to a post-match penalty shootout, which went down to the wire. The game, which produced a cheerful ending, started in a very slow pace, with both sides limited to just few chances, but best of which arrived in the 17th minute when Bombardas Ankoma and Disajaju sent a wicked hit from distant that cannon of the crossbar and went wide. Deba Oil wanted an early response to that scare, and in the 30th minute, their goal getter Alu Jame, who has 21 league goals to his name, sent in a bullet and towering header, leading to hundreds of Deba Oil supporters who were on the ground punching the air in a thought that the ball is heading to the back of the net, only to see Bombarda's netminder, Ibrahim Sonko, splitting it first, first time before recovering to handle well. A fairly decent first half that in a lucky day might have produced a goal from both sides ended goalless. The second half, which started in a very high tempo, was obstructed by rain that led to the pitch losing its best condition. Regardless of the rain, regardless of players losing their balance and footing during the poor condition of the dramatic ending was always forced by fans. The Bowers goal was always coming and in the 87 minute of the contest it finally arrived from a well taken half volley by Haman Conte leading to wild scenes of celebration. But in two minutes the Birikama base club bombarded set up a quick counter with Lamin Kole placing the ball sublimely in a plate for Abdullah Kamara who was waiting patiently at the back post to hit home. One only ended in normal time, and the game was decided in post my penalty shootout, with Diba Oil winning L7 after 10 kicks from each side. Malang Yafa, the gaffer of Diba Oil in a post match interview, promised Diba Oil supporters that they will give their all. In now heading to the final, what does this mean for Diba Oil? Yeah, this means a lot for Diba Oil, not only Diba Oil, but the whole of LRR. Because we are not only playing for Diba Oil, we are only playing for the whole of LRR. If you, because if you look at LRR, this is the only team that has um, qualified to. Uh, in a playoff spot. So winning today's game, we will delegate this um, victory to the whole of LRL. Definitely it means a lot to us. It means a lot to us. Looking at um, this team, it's a young team. Uh, your first year in the second division, you, you managed to uh, um, get, uh, finish with fourth position. So playing a play of the first game against a team that have been in the league for years, so winning against them definitely, you know, it's mean a lot to us. Ali Jame, the club's top scorer, record the same sentiments. He, however, urged the Bowl supporters to come cheer for them in the final day. Since we uh, didn't start, start to come, you know, the, the, the field was very bad. So we just tried to manage, manage the field, you know, and complete the game. So, so luckily, you know, we have a goal in it. So in the, uh, the, the signal us that, you know, it's four minutes to play. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot defend the goal, and, you know, so they score us. Yeah, but we want to fight to, 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 to score again, but the game ended 1-1. On the other playoff, Gamtel we are 1-0 to the good against BK Milan to set up a final against Diva Oil, which is scheduled to play on Friday. Reporting for N24 News Hour, I am Isaba.